Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Christensen here, and I'm going to be doing a read aloud video for you guys today um, of the book of The Squirrels Who Squabbled. This book was written by Rachel Bright and illustrated by Jim Field. I chose to do this video because it has very good vocabulary choice in it. This book can be um, an easy read for some students, but also a harder read for some students. <laughs> It has some easy words in it, but also challenging words in it. In this book, I'm going to be do, to be pointing out four vocabulary words throughout the book, and I want to challenge you as readers to see if you can um, identify what those words mean before I give you guys a definition of them when I, before I say them. I will say them, and then I'll just find what they mean. Um, this book also has um, a very good lesson in it throughout the book. I want to see if you guys can find, figure out what the lesson is. At the end of the book, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about what the lesson was, and we'll say it at the end of the book. <laughs> um, um, the Kirkus reviewed this book on their website, and they said that this has an energetic word choice and funny, excited illustrations that make this a great read all the way through to the clear, satisfying moral. Um, that is also one of the reasons I chose this book because I love books that have fun, amazing illustrations in them with a great read that make it a great read. So I'm going to get right into reading this book and we'll talk about it at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The Squirrels Who Squabbled. In a towering forest where summer has been, the leaves turned to gold as a cold wind blew in, and an autumn arrived with the sky ragging red. The sleepy creatures got ready for bed, while up in a tree swung a flying young squirrel, who everyone knew as Spontaneous Cyril. Now most frosty folk had seen in their needs through the plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds, they built their stores so they'd all be well fed through the frosting of winter that glittered ahead. So my first vocabulary word is plentiful. And that sentence reads, through the plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds. So the word plentiful means exciting. But Cyril, he lived in the now and the here. He'd adventured and partied his way through the year. So his cupboard was empty, his hollow was bare, and he had a mouthful of food anywhere. So my second vocabulary word is hollow. Hollow means empty. There's nothing. Oh, wait. What was that over there? Take a look. A single lone pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight and for a very good reason. But far inside were the very last nuts of the season. But Cyril wasn't alone. There were more hungry eyes. Yes, plain ahead. Bruce had his sights on the prize. Though he'd gathered fresh treasures of every sort, Bruce had convinced he was one pine cone short. It simply must have it, his, wisp, his wistfully cried, and he dreamt of the fresh, juicy pine nut inside. Uh-oh. So as Cyril set off on his way to the ground, Bruce, he was also last pine cone bound. They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched at the bark and their scampering scramble. But their panic and hassle shook the tip of the spruce and the pine cone it trembled and then it came loose. So here you see in this picture, the two squirrels gonna run up the tree and then here are the two squirrels again, getting the pine cone and it says, it came loose. Both squirrels gave chase at a lightning pace. This was a, the state of a wild, nutty race. It's mine, shouted. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No, mine, hollered Bruce. You don't stand a chance. Give up. It's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. 
The cone, this cone is not yours. Stay back, shouted Bruce. This cone for mine stores. What are they doing? I think they're kind of in a fight. It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged off the nose of a slumbering bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a... Stop! Then teetered and wobbled and quivered and... Plop! Both squirrels followed. Oh, the water was fast. Would they learn that they needed each other at last? But each was intent in how he could win, so they didn't quite notice. A bird was swooping in! Uh-oh. Cyril and Bruce, they watched in dismay as, they, as they, their cone disappeared up, up, up and away. Come back, shouted Cyril. That's our nuts, exclaimed Bruce. But all hope was gone. It was simply no use. So my third vocabulary word is dismay. It says, they watched in dismay as their cone disappeared. Up, up, up and away. So dismay means in shock. <gasps> like in shock. And meanwhile, they drifted right up to the ledge. Greed, it was driving them. Here's a fun page. See, this is like cool illustration. Over the ledge, Cyril and Bruce, they had taken a fall. They were paying the price for wanting it all. They squandered their chances to team up and share with their nutty young hopes simply end in despair. Bruised and bedraggled, they swept past dry land. Cyril grabbed at the branch with a trembling hand. Catching Bruce with the other, he, he hemmed and huffled and pulled him to safety. With painting and puff, panting and puffs, they dragged themselves up with sputtering wiggles. Then Bruce looked at Cyril and... exploded in giggles. How silly we are, he managed to mutter. How greedy I've been, he proclaimed with a splutter. We shall change from today, may this wobbling cease. We shall celebrate, seeing we're both in one piece. So my last vocabulary word is cease. And it says, may this wobbling cease. Cease means to end, to stop. So here are the two squirrels laughing and getting along. From that day and forward, they made a great pair. They would gather together and found they could share. Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end. So in this picture, they're right here. It's kind of hard to tell with all the different animals around the table. The best thing to share is a laugh with your friend. The end. So that is the squirrel who squabbled. The squirrels who squabbled. Sorry. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you got the lesson out of that was that these two squirrels, they didn't get along and they both were fighting for nuts in the beginning, but at the end of the story, they both were gonna work together and share the nuts instead of fight for, for them, which we should all learn and from this story and we should all share each other and laugh with each other. So I hope you loved that story just as much as I did and I hope you could have learned from my vocabulary words, plentiful, hollow, dismay, and cease. I hope you either knew those or wrote those down and can learn from those. I hope you guys um, join me for my next YouTube video and I hope you give this video on my YouTube channel a big thumbs up and subscribe to it and come back.
Thank you. Bye.